Today is Monday, August 1st, 2022. Camping up on Old Chicken Coop Road up in the Finger Lakes National Forest. Summer vacation. It's uh, the campsite as it's been for many years. I haven't actually camped here in two years because uh, I camped at the other side up on uh, Potomac, which I like because there's no uh, cell service there. It's a little quiet. People can't bug me. But I had to work. I have to kind of work this week on and off. I know it's a workcation. Um, so I haven't camped here in a while. Plus, this campsite's always a little hard to get in and out because of this sharp turn. I mean, I guess if I didn't back the truck in like that, it wouldn't be so hard. But, you know, you got to turn to make this uh, almost 90 degree turn to get in and out of the driveway. Which isn't so bad over a three point turn. But then there's also this mud wallow. It was deep when I got here. I've been filling it in with rock to make it uh, a little easier to get in and out and try to get rid of the mud wallow. And I dug out the trench. I think I trenched it like four or five years ago when I last camped here when it was really wet. But, uh, Trench had filled in. I don't think I've myself dug it out since. It really needs gravel. And actually, probably could have culvert here too, because there's kind of a spring that runs down through here. But hopefully, with the drier weather and the trenching, I'm going to try to get more rock in here before the end of the week. It'll be better. So, yeah, Chicken Coop Road, pretty quiet. There's people camping up next door. But, uh, yeah, that's my other thing about the, the road, campsite on Potomac Road. There's no campsites nearby, so you don't have to make too much noise. But uh, I still like it. This is a smaller site, so it actually seems more cozy, although it's a lot closer to the road. But it's not so dusty this week that it's, it's annoying. But uh, yeah, going to head to Watkins Glen to do some more swimming. I also got to do some work stuff at the library. I know work's way too much big part of this vacation, but it's part because the week I chose. I like doing it later in the summer, but just works here these days. Had a fire uh, Friday night, but I haven't had one since. I don't feel like burning a lot of wood up. I don't need to. I'll probably have a fire today. As you can see, you got a lot of stuff that could be burned. But, uh, yeah. Set the tent up mostly to store gear and stuff. That's what I usually do. Usually sleep in the truck, although if that, that wide wall gets too muddy, rains, I may sleep in the tent and just park the truck on the road and um, put, leave the gear in the truck. It'd almost be easier. Um, at the potholders, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got some, uh, I ran up against some, a tree and I put some holes in the tube by accident. So I've been patching it up. I made a big patch and it didn't work so well, so I've done some smaller patches and Seems like it's holding air now. I added some more air this morning. I'm going to let those, and I repatched it up a little bit better. Let it dry some. And I'm thinking maybe when I'm at uh, Watkins Glen State Park, I'll hook up the, pul uh, the pump again, let it pump up some more. I figure that way I'll have the solar power to get things really fully recharged. Cause I want to have enough, you know, keep the batteries pretty full. Cause I'm camping here for like, you know, two nights and. And then I'm doing every other other day going out to the parks and stuff. And the site only has partial sunset sunlight for most of the day. Although midday it does get some pretty good sun angle. But yeah, that's camp. It's been very leisurely. I've been trying to just not rush around, do so much, try to save some gas by driving less. And, uh, you know, just taking advantage of summer vacation. So yeah, that's it. Monday, uh, August 1st.